Hey guys, David here, uh, and welcome to my Learn Pandas channel. Today we're gonna go over in and not in in pandas. So let's begin. Uh, we can start by importing pandas. Um, SPD, and let me tell you what version of pandas I'm currently running. Um, PD dot. So I'm on 23.4. Um, in case you're following, so let me first create a data set for us. So let's just do it like this. Sometimes it's easier if I just do it in Excel. So I'm going to create two columns, key value. Uh, a, B, C, and I'll pick some random numbers here. No, let's pick another one. Okay. So I copy this, and pandas has a nifty little function. And we could uh, read from clipboard. And that you could also do that with other programs, but Excel is just one of them. So when you run it, you get your data frame, same ones we pulled from Excel. And one thing I like to do is to check the data type of each of the columns. And the reason I do this is because sometimes when you copy from clipboard, your data doesn't come in as you expected. But let's see what we got here. So if you look at the key, you notice that there's, it's an object. And we expect it because it's strings and the value column. There's three of them and they're all integers. So we are good to go. Um, so let's move forward. So let's say you got asked, can you write um, some pandas code where the column key is in and then they give you some values. So the way you will write that is, you'll go df, the name of our um, data frame, and then the column we're referencing is key, and then pandas has this function called isIn, and then inside here, um, actually let's do it like this, you can put a list. So you can start with a is in a, and you'll get a boolean back. Um, here, let's do it like this. Mass, mass. Let's say this is our filter. And let's print those values to the screen. So, column key is in a. Obviously, you want to get one row. You can add multiple values to this. Is in B. When you run it, you'll get which columns, um, which, you know, is A and B inside column key. And yes, of course it is. If you add one that doesn't exist, you should be okay. If I add like X, you shouldn't get an error. You should just get whatever it finds. So if you have a list, um, this is the way you do it. Now, what if you wanted to do the opposite? What if you wanted to go not in? Then all you have to do is add your little tilde that you'll find the top left of your keyboard and you'll get the opposite. So not in A, B, or X. And obviously all we got left is um, the C up here. Now that's simple enough, but there's another interesting feature that they added to data frames and I forgot what version of pandas they added in but it's called query and I haven't used it much um, but I should because it uh, allows you to do a lot of things pretty easily so let me show you how it works so df.query and you can do things like um, key is equal to a and it'll give you a or is equal to b 
and you could be you could also do things like value greater than I don't know what's the numbers that we got up here let's do greater than 50 we should now let's do less than 50 see if we get um 45 and 7 so less than 50 and look, you get 45 and 7, so you kind of write SQL-like um, expressions, and it will just evaluate them for you, which I thought was really interesting. Now, if we try to do the in part, um, I think we we, oh, we do it. We do it like this: key in, and then a, or key. Uh, not in A and it works the same way but the other thing I was curious about was the, the only problem is they're making us here they're making us write everything in text and if you see how this looks it's kind of ugly um, but it would be nice if we could replace this with a variable and actually there might be a way to do it let me show you how how we can do it so when I first started looking at this I'm like let's create something called um, I don't know let's call it um, uh, I don't know letters letters and let's make uh, here let's copy the one up here letters is equal to this so I wanted to say not in and I wanted to use the variable I just created letters and when I ran this it bombed on me and I'm like what's the deal so if you go down to the error you'll see that it says name letters is not defined so it's trying to look for this letters column inside the data frame which doesn't exist we actually created an independent variable so the way you reference that variable it's the following way if you shift tab twice on query you'll see here that it says you can refer to variables in the environment by prefixing them with the add symbol so let's do that so if we change this to at and you run it all of a sudden you're in key in at letters so really interesting the way um, they added this feature to data frames I would suggest you give it a shot and play around with dot uh, query in your data frames see if you could um, get some of your uh, slice and dicing quicker or maybe more uh, readable instead of um, doing uh, doing it some other way so I hope you enjoy this video if you want to learn more about pandas want to actually take a course go to the description I have a link to my website at hedaro.com and I have a free pandas course that you can take that would um, benefit you a lot and uh, hope you have a good one.